Outstanding Artist. Today we are going to be making an artwork that our entire school community could make. Our school community is made up of students and teachers as well as the other staff members who work here to keep our school running. In our case, we want to bring our school community together by all having something that symbolizes our school. The art that we're going to be making is a bracelet made out of some strings that are some school colors. By you and your friends wearing this bracelet, you show that you support our school community. I hope you have so much fun creating your artwork that brings our community together. Let's get started figuring out how to make it. All right, artists, so what you're gonna need is a piece of tape or two pieces of tape. Two pieces of tape works a little bit better just to hold this down. Right above the knot that is in your string where the short tails are, I want you to put those two pieces of tape and stick it down to a surface, probably your desk. Then you're going to be using these colors to build your bracelet. Start by selecting one color you want to start with. I chose the white and I have the blue and the red laying straight down in front of me. Then you're going to take this white string and you're going to turn this into the number four. So this is the straight line of the four. And then I have an angle out that goes at a diagonal and then a straight horizontal going across. It looks like the number four. Then you're gonna take this hand you're going to go through the hole of that four and under your straight strings to grab your white on the opposite side. Pull that through and then pull the knot you've created up. And that's the same process that you're going to do until all your string is used up. I created the number four. My hand goes through the hole. I'm grabbing the string over here and pulling it through and sliding that knot up. Create a four, go through the hole and grab the string on the other side and slide that up. Eventually, when you're making this, it might look a little bit something like this. You might be able to speed up the process. Number four, go through, grab the string. Number four, go through, grab the string. But while you're learning, if it helps you to lay out the number four like this and put your hand through, that is all right. When you want to change colors, you can kind of see that mine has started to build up here. When you want to change colors, just put the, the one you're using next to one of the other strings that were straight and pull a different color out to make your number four with and then continue the same process. You'll notice that I am holding the straight strings in one hand and using my other hand to work the string that's building up on the bracelet. Now you might wonder how long you should make this. You should make it as long as you need to in order to make it fit around your wrist. I am assuming that you will use up most of the string that I have given you. It takes a lot of string to kind of twist around these two straight strings. I'm gonna switch my color again, this time going to the red. You could choose to do your colors in bigger sections. Like I could have made a bigger white and a bigger blue, but you want to try to use all the strings evenly um, because if not, one will get really short really fast. So you might want to switch your strings, but you could make them a little bit longer. I am going to go ahead and finish my bracelet off. Again, just making that number four, going through, grabbing my string and pulling up keeping this string pretty straight. I'm gonna finish this off and I'll check back in with you when it is all done. All right, whenever you're finished with your bracelet, at the very end, you're going to want to put two fingers down. 
you're gonna want to wrap your strings around your fingers and then you need to cross over top of your bracelet. Once you've crossed over top of your bracelet, you're gonna take your fingers and put them through the hole and grab those strings on the other side. We're tying a knot here at the bottom so that our strings stay together. Then just pull those tails and you will have a knot in your bracelet. At that point, you can unstick that from the tape and have somebody in your school community tie your bracelet on your wrist. Could be tied on just like that. Tie another one of those knots just like the start of your shoe, except do it twice on this other end here and your bracelet will be tied onto your wrist. I hope you have so much fun creating. I hope you had so much fun creating with me today and I can't wait to see you guys sporting your bracelets as members of my school community. Have fun creating guys.